I would now like to call on um, the Deputy Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Mr. Demeke Makunen, to deliver his keynote. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the people and the government of Ethiopia and of myself, may I welcome you all most warmly to Addis Ababa and to this most auspicious occasion, the commemoration of the 16th anniversary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Ethiopia has been privileged to host the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa for this six decades. And we are delighted to celebrate this anniversary with all our friends and development partners from across the globe. It is indeed an anniversary that underlines the effective solidarity and real cooperation of the ECA with Africa. Six years ago, in 1958, when the ECA was established by the United Nations Economic and Social Council, it was given a mandate to promote the economic and social development of Africa countries through international cooperation. This still remains its mandate today, and it is still entirely relevant. The ECA's contribution to Africa's development continues to be shaped by continental priorities and by the need for partnership and collaboration. Six years ago, His Imperial, Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie Man made the same point, underlining the necessity of cooperation for the development of Africa. And he said, the economies of Africa states have too long existed as separate, self-content, isolated entities. We are all only too well acquainted with the difficulties and barriers that the African people have had to overcome. In coming together, the African people have had to overcome in coming together to deliberate on matters of common interest. It is impossible to believe that individual countries working alone and isolated from their neighbors can never achieve their objectives. The African peoples must therefore work and cooperate together. If the economic, the economic development of this continent is to be preserved, this remains equally true today. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this is a special occasion. I offer my warmest congratulations to the ECA for its achievement over the past six decades. It has had a difficult and dual role. As a regional arm of the UN and as a part of the regional institutional landscape in Africa. In carrying out this dual role and, if I may say so, with great competence and even assurance, it has made a whole series of significant contributions in building enhanced partnerships and integrating Africa into the global economy. One aspect of this I must emphasize here has been its role in moving forward the African Continental Free Trade Agreement process. Its support for this and its pivotal role 
encouraging Africa's transformation agenda, as well as its continued contributions for the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals and Agenda 2063 cannot be exaggerated. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, nor can I emphasize too strongly that the ACA has been and is a most important and effective institution in developing our knowledge across a range of issues relevant to Africa's development. Inclusive and green growth, innovative financing for sustainable development, natural resource management and governance, illicit financial flows, regional integration, trade, urbanization, industrialization and infrastructure. These are all areas where the ECA has translated knowledge into country-level support and sound policy. The Economic Commission for Africa has done an immense job over the last six decades. We are very grateful, and it also remains exceptionally well-placed to continue its unique contribution to Africa's development challenges and its support for Agenda 20. 63 and the Global Agenda 2030. With this example before us, this is therefore an occasion that offers, that offers us the opportunity to re rededicate our own effort to the socio-economic emancipation and development of Africa. And it gives us a further opportunity to expand and renew our own partnerships with the rest of the world as we continue to move towards Agenda 2063 and the Africa we want. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Finally, as they say, is an integral part of the Ethiopian community, we are particularly pleased to celebrate its 16th anniversary at an exciting time of change and reform in our country. The dynamics of reform in Ethiopia has already unlocked the door to hope and prosperity in our sub-region. The spectacular peace between Ethiopia and Eritrea has started showing peace dividend to the people of the Horn of Africa. Thank you. The, spectac the spectacular peace between Ethiopia and Eritrea has started showing peace dividend to the people of the Horn of Africa, creating unprecedented opportunities for the collective peace and prosperity. We are confident that our partners will continue to be alongside us in our regional integration agenda. We are grateful for the all-rounded support from the United Nations family and all our partners in this endeavor. Ethiopia is determined to forge ahead with deepening the reform process across the whole socioeconomic spectrum. The 16th birthday of ECA, which is a family member that crossed three generations, is a new occasion for every Ethiopian. Congratulations once again. I thank you.